Hey, hey y'all, I'm Kitty here with Late Nights, Early Mornings, and I am here to share some of my Amazon, actually all of my Amazon um, Prime haul with you from the Prime Day sales. So hopefully you guys were able to snag some good deals as well. Um, if so, make sure you leave those in the comments and tell me what all you got. But if not, then I hope that you will enjoy this particular haul. Um, I will note that for me, I focused on skincare this time, more specifically, um, Korean beauty um, or Korean skincare. One thing that I have noticed is that um, more people of color are starting to go into or not go into but starting to um, branch out into trying some K-beauty products and they're tending to have good success so I decided that I would also start um, dipping my toe in the K-beauty world as well. So after doing a little bit of research I found a few good deals on K-beauty on um, during the prime days and I decided to go ahead and take a dive. So I'll go ahead and share those two products with you first um, and both are from the brand Enos Free we not pronounce that right um enos free and um that particular this particular item is the cleanser so this is the hydrating cleansing foam with green tea and it, it's five ounces and i believe i paid like seven dollars for this um with the lightning deal so it's a little more expensive with when it's not on sale but i paid seven bucks for this which is not a bad deal because pretty much about any foaming cleanser or any cleanser can cost you that much or more in the store today so definitely a good deal and that's another thing about k-beauty is sometimes depending on where you order the products from especially if you order directly from um like k-beauty sites so much cheaper than ordering from like ulta or sephora or whatnot or if you order directly from the company and it's coming over from overseas much much cheaper yes it takes a little longer to get here but it's definitely worth it in the savings um, so the other product that I ordered was the Enos Free, same brand as the um, facial cleanser. This is the Intensive Hydrating Cream with Green Tea Seed. And so I'll show you this one. My skin is pretty much what I call combination skin. Um, so I have like the T-zone um, where the oil is using my forehead and nose. Sometimes under my chin, but more so right in here is where the oil would generate. And then my cheeks and around my mouth tend to get dry um, when I do have dry patches. So that will be where the dry areas are. And then you have the oily spots there. So that's typically combination skin. Um, and right now, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I am a Fenty Skin stand that is pretty much my routine that is what i use every day on my skin for my facial routine and as you can see um my skin's pretty clear not a lot of um acne dark spots none of that going on <clears throat> so i don't have any necessarily particular issues that i'm crazy crazy about um you know zooming in on or trying to improve but i just want to have as close to flawless skin as possible and so a few of these products should help me with that um the next thing is this uh hydrating cream that was the one i just showed you guys here this is the jar that it comes in and i do want to note that this brand has several different lines so based on your um, skin needs in terms of the skin type you have or maybe what you're aiming for if you need moisture if you have really dry skin they have a different moisturizer for you this one works better for like normal combination skin so um, yeah they do have different varieties for different types of skincare needs um, so with this one this is a jar um, moisturizer so it comes out in a cream I haven't opened it yet but it'll be a creamy moisturizer And so right now, like I said, I'm currently doing my Fenty. My uh, regular skincare consists of my Fenty skin products and then my Aveeno moisturizer. I am going to be doing a video that focuses more on my current skincare routine and maybe some of the newer things that I'm adding. So as that changes, you'll see more videos coming with that as well as when I incorporate these products. So once I finish with my Fenty skin skin cleanser and um, once I use up the current one that I have then I'll start moving into um, probably these products the other two items that I purchased were from a company that I have been using for years um, and when I said four is in over the years not just four years but over the years I've been using this company and that is Fox Brim um, it's Fox Brim 
Fox Brim Naturals. And like the name states, their products are natural products. They are derived from natural ingredients. So you don't have a lot of those extra chemicals like some um, more popular things that we get, you know, over the counter or whatever. Um, those particular brands may have more chemically things in them and these beauty products do not. So that's one reason why I started looking into Fox Brim Naturals. I have been using a lot of their products um, or have used a lot of their products. So I can truly speak to one, the brand as well as the quality of the products. I'll be doing a separate video on Fox Brim coming soon. Um, they were doing a deal for Prime where if you purchase two products from their Amazon store, you will receive a third one for free. And the third one was you got to choose between their toner and it was one other item. And I chose the toner, um, which I have actually used before. That was the first toner that I started using when in my skincare. Um, when I first started with, I guess, having a skincare routine, it was when I was in college. And so... I was just using the Aveeno um, cleansing pads and it was the clear complexion ones because I know they have two different uh, types. So I used the Aveeno clear, com clear complexion pads um, for my cleansing and then I used their moisturizer for um, the clear complexion moisturizer for my moisturizer and that's it. I didn't use a toner or any serums or anything else. And that worked pretty well, um, especially in my college years. You know, your skin's usually pretty good unless you do have like some form of acne condition or something else, but normally your skin's okay. Um, and so that worked. And then I just started branching out into finding out more products, learning more about skincare. So I did start incorporating serums and toners. And the toner that I first started using was the Fox Room Naturals orange blossom water toner that was like the first toner that I ever used on my skin and it gave me one to me it smells like fruit loops like that's what it reminds me of um it doesn't necessarily have it's not scented like a perfume or anything but that's just the scent that I get um and maybe that's just what orange blossom smells like I don't know um I will show you because I have used the toner like I said before so I still have a um a bottle an old bottle here just to show you what it looks like but this is my free item that they'll be sending me and that came directly from fox brim and i did get an email confirming that they have shipped that out so it's in route to me but the other two items were through amazon so they they are already here um but this is the orange blossom water toner so that will be my free item and it also comes with a um pump if you choose to do like a spray like a mist that way so it's really however you want to apply it or you can use like your little pad or, or cotton ball or whatever um, so the two items that I did purchase from the Amazon during the Prime Day from Fox Brim was um, the Vitamin C Serum and the Retinol Face Serum. Both of these were discounted. Um, I don't remember the exact prices. I want to say for the two of them I paid about $40-ish after all discounts and everything. So not a bad price at all. You, you don't need a lot. So even though these bottles look a little small, it they last for a while so it's not you're not um gonna need a lot each day so this helps give you radiant skin vitamin c serum um this was probably the second serum or the first serum that i put on my face so in addition to the orange blossom water toner the serum was the thing that i started incorporating as well and when you talk about like a glow and having just that natural glow think about when sometimes women are pregnant and people will say like oh like you have that pregnancy glow or whatever because they're just in a good place and they're just happy and it, they kind of radiate their skin is just like very radiant um that's what vitamin c serum kind of does for your skin without you know that so <laughs> you just get that natural glow um and so i really like the vitamin c serum and i got a lot of compliments on my skin and people always say like you you must be so happy you like your skin so it's like mm, it's that that fox brim y'all that fox brim um but it also comes in a droplet so like um you can use it and just put a few drops in your hand or if you want to mix it in with something else you can do that and it also comes with the sprayer so if you want to like spray it on your face like a mist you can do that as well so this is one ounce um, one ounce size bottle here and again these products are natural they're cruelty free um this one is what does it say it's made in an fda um facility so i mean these are things that 
um, FDA registered facility. So I mean, it just lets you know the standards that the product products have um, and the quality of the products. So again, cruelty free. These are natural ingredients. Um, I want to say they're also vegan or at least some of them are so just a lot of positive things about this and again the name fox Brim naturals so yes they're natural vegan and um cruelty free for this vitamin c serum the other item that i purchased the retinol here same process it is um 100 natural and plant-based it also comes with the um pump if you want to use that route but its original um format here is the um dropper just like the other and this is again also a one ounce bottle now i have not used retinol not pure retinol like this yet in my skincare routine so um i've used products that have retinol like incorporated in them but um this is my first time this will be my first time using it but it is a wrinkle reducer and one thing I'm about is preventative things um I like to be proactive rather than reactive so before we start getting a bunch of wrinkles let's start using this to prevent them from even happening so I'm gonna be putting in um retinol into my skincare routine very soon because I want to keep this skin nice and as close to flawless as possible so that's the goal um to be glowing and happy and healthy um with my skin and in general but also having my skin look that way as well you want to reflect on the outside and feel the same on the inside all right so that is my skincare that i all purchased from amazon and again i will put my um i found it on amazon list down in the description so that you can get access to all of these things if you click on that you'll see everything that i purchased including these items they should be at the top of the list and i'll um and I think they're all available. But again, I'm still waiting on my toner that will be coming for my freebie. But I showed you guys what that looks like. So that is all from my Amazon Prime Day haul and shopping. And like I said, I will be coming with more skincare um, videos soon. And I hope that you will stick around. And if you guys, again, shop any K-Beauty or have any K-Beauty suggestions, please put them down in the comments. Um, I did start making a wish list on my Amazon um, with other skincare products that I kind of noted and saw on there that I want to try out. But like I said, it does take time to um, get your skin used to something and to really see how it's working or how effective it is. So, you know, those are things that I will gradually purchase. Or if it's something I can add into a routine, that's one thing. But if it's where it's like, you know, a whole different, you know, I have to do it on its own, like a, a new face wash or something, that's those are things I'll be getting over time because I can't just buy one, use it for a couple of days and be like, oh yeah, it worked great or no, it's trash because it takes time for that stuff to start showing. So I would have to use it for at least two weeks to a month to really be able to say like, yes, this does great or no, not so great. So over time, I'll be branching out and I'll be taking you guys along on that journey. But again, I won't start that until I finish up with my Fenty skin, which I'm currently using. So until then, I will I'll continue to update you. And again, any suggestions, please feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.